you tonight. Another disturbing allegation against the now former campus monitor at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. A shooting victim's father says the man sexually harassed his late daughter last year. That employee, Andrew Medina, was in line to be fired. Instead, he was suspended for just three days. It would turn out Medina became one of the last people to see the shooter before February's massacre began. And tonight, the story gets even more disturbing. CBS 4's Carrie Codd working late developments live in Fort Lauderdale. Carrie. Well, Andrew Pollack and his son Hunter Pollack say Meadow Pollock, one of the Stoneman Douglas shooting victims, was sexually harassed by campus safety monitor Andrew Medina. The Pollocks are outraged that the Broward School District did not fire Medina after their investigation. And tonight, one of Medina's accusers is telling her story for the first time. I think he's a bomb. That's Hunter Pollock, brother of Stoneman Douglas victim Meadow Pollock, talking about this man, Stoneman Douglas campus safety monitor and baseball coach Andrew Medina. In this video from February 14th, Medina spoke to Broward Sheriff's Office investigators about the shooting and being one of the first to see Nicholas Cruz enter the campus with a black bag and head towards the freshman building. Now we're learning through documents obtained by the South Florida Sun Sentinel that Medina nearly lost a job last year after being investigated for sexually harassing female students on campus, saying lewd and inappropriate things to them. Hunter Pollock and his dad say Meadow was one of those female students. If I knew at the time, he would have been fired right away. It's very unacceptable that the school board allowed this pervert to say stuff to my sister and the other girls. According to the Sun Sentinel, this document shows that the school district's professional standards committee recommended Medina be fired for the conduct. But a handwritten note at the bottom says discipline should not be termination, instead a three-day suspension. A teen who says Medina harassed her on campus spoke to CBS 4 News about her encounters with him. One time he said to me like that his kids are gone for the weekend and that he wants me to come over and he wants me to buy drinks, but like he wants to buy drinks for me, but I can't tell anyone. She said in one instance, Medina promised to come to the restaurant where she worked. And he was like, okay, well, I'm going to come in so I can finally flirt with you. Like, I'm going to be off campus or it's going to be off campus so I can finally flirt with you so I can't get in trouble. She says she's speaking up because Meadow cannot. She doesn't have a voice anymore, so I need to be that voice for her because, like, this man should not be able to work on any campus, any school campus, period. The Sun Sentinel reports Medina denied making any inappropriate comments to students. Medina was criticized after this video emerged last week for not confronting Cruz and for failing to call for a code red after seeing Cruz on campus and knowing he was a potential threat. Hunter Pollock wonders what would have happened if Medina had been fired and a different campus safety monitor had been on campus to confront Cruz a man Pollock and his father refer to by his criminal court case number. I think it's very politically incorrect that they didn't fire him because if they did, maybe they would have had someone competent enough at the gates to stop 18, 19, 58 from getting on the campus. Late today, the school district released a statement regarding Medina's discipline. They said, in part, there was no direct evidence to distinguish between the conflicting statements provided by the students and the employee, and there were no previous records of discipline for the employee. Andrew Pollack told me that his ex-wife dealt with this issue regarding his daughter, that he didn't even know about it until very recently. He said had he known about it, he would have pushed for Medina's firing. We tried to reach Medina tonight, but we could not get in touch with him. Also, he was reassigned away from the Stoneman Douglas campus after the shooting due to his actions or inactions that day. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.